feels so close because it's the other camera, you know, yeah. might as well. What is up everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we're gonna, as you see from the title, it's all about 360 cameras. So I've got my Insta360 RS on. I'm gonna be filming today and I'm gonna show you why you'll see a lot of people more and more so using 360 cameras. You've got a lot of people using it on YouTube, but more specifically Instagram, TikTok, you're seeing a lot more of it. And I'm gonna tell you why. Lead us in. Show us what we got. Nice. It looks quite well ridden, this one. More so than the other. Oh, oh quite very quite tight. tight. Very tight. Oh, going up above the tree. Back down into the rut. Yes. That bottom section's good. I almost like prefer it to the top section, like yeah. the first bit. The 360 cameras, you're seeing a lot of riders like Raymond Taylor, Johan Borelli, Mark Matthews, just a few there who are using the 360 cameras. One of the great things about it is you can just use it across multiple platforms. You can film in landscape like I'm doing now, but I can reframe it to portrait and upload it to my Instagram and get some cool point of view shots or some cool moments and highlights put on my Instagram as well as YouTube. So it's so good. I'm obviously in the wrong gear. Oh, oh crikey, it's dry. It is, actually a bit dry here. For oh, what? Oh, I'll just drive a line. Oh, crikey. Good luck, just drive a bit chunky, isn't it? Yeah, it is. This is a Strava line. It is. So is this. Mr. Yeah, paddles. we can go on the berm. Two options now. Some overtaking available if uh, people want to do it. Yeah. Oh, this one. That's the bit you was on about. That's the one. Uh, Picking up some speed now. Yeah, so this is different, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I think. Yeah, they have changed this bit there. I was saying Dad's ridden it, but they've changed this trail bit. Yeah, so that's more sweeping. Oh, yeah, I see, yeah. This comes in a bit wider. We've done this burn. Oh, oh. oh hey. It's a lower. That's good, yeah. Yeah, so they've opened it up a bit more, let's say, sweeping corner. Pretty good work there. Oh, and this has changed as well, isn't it? Yeah. It's come, comes higher up. So it used to kind of go lower there and see the older line. Oh, a nice berm here. Yeah, that feels better. It feels like, as long as you power up that first hill, it's got more speed. And you're saying they've opened up a thing down here, which is pretty cool, because Got some jumps down here. And they Yeah, it's a bit yeah, it's a bit more of a more open berm. There we go. That feels good. And some doubles, but you can also roll them and use them as rollers, which is so good. It's a really for different riders to still ride it. A few jumps. Two nice jumps. Yep. Oh, nice. I feel I'm leaning more. Yeah, it's, it's definitely the e-bikes. So it's like, because you've got the weight, yeah. you can lean more and it's, it grips. It's really nice. Helping around those tight corners. No, it's not as bad. So we just did John Baptiste behind us and it's just been, had a little bit of work to it. So massive shout out to the builders and everyone who's done that because it it's much better. It's got some wider corners and they've kind of kept it where you can sort of go down then back up, down, back up, rather than kind of staying down and having to pedal back up the hill. 
and opened up, like I say, some of the corners so you can keep your flow. So good, and it just runs even better now. Oh, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> I was riding in, uh, in um, nothing, so I forgot where we had sort of been standing around, well, sat around talking. It powered the, off. The biker turned up and then realised. Like, <laughs> oh, well, right. This is. Uh... This one's super wet. Yeah. Squeaky brakes. Now everyone knows when I'm how deep it's going to be oh, here. That felt quite deep. Curly whirly, quite a funny trail name, I think. It's quite tricky, oh, isn't it? Way, I? No, you're on the right one. You sure? Yeah. That trail's um proper boat. Okay. If you want to go right, this is the curly whirly. Pretty chunky. Oh, it feels weird because it's been so long since we've done this one either. Quite steep. Quite chunky. I'm pleased with that! <laughs> I was at the top thinking oh, it's a bit chunky. <laughs> that was good, yeah, it was, wasn't it? It's, the whole trail was uh, oh. it's definitely got a lot more chunky on that one. Yeah. It's been a while. So another great thing about why people are using the 360 cameras is reframing. So because of the 360 camera, you've got two lenses and it's kind of filmed like 180 degrees. So I know that now I've got this on, I'm filming everything that's in front of me. So it's perfect when you're going down the trail and you know, and you're changing your angles, your steepness, it's gonna record it all. And it's also great because if something funny happens, like dad makes a funny noise or something funny happens in general, I can reframe it and point it exactly where I wanna be. So I always get everything I need. Oh, is it this? This is one of them, yeah. Which one's this? Oh, yeah. Left, left. Uh, Go right. Don't... Try right. <laughs> I don't know if this is a crazier one than not a crazy one. We'll soon find crazy. out. <laughs> yeah, they all are, yeah. Absolutely. Right. Oh, a drop. Sort of cheated a bit. Oh, look at this. Gr grippy and low meters. Oh, I hit oh a big skid. Big skid. Oh, it's quite steep. <laughs> God, and that's good, that's good. Yeah, look at that, another skid, you got it. Now I'm cheating. Oh yeah, this, I remember this line now. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. <laughs> oh. Brilliant though, that's brilliant. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, uh, what's going on here, Jay? Oh yeah, this is the one. Oh, yeah, I remember. Like, why am I on this one? <laughs> this is always a problem getting on the bike. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> right, you got this. Well, this is the harder one, Jay. I know. Yeah, look at that. He's got it now. He's on it. Oh, I'm skidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm skidding as well. <laughs> Go and finish it off. You sure? Yeah, finish it off. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, man. And now I'm falling down a hole. Yeah, I mean, you're... That's got bigger, hasn't it? There's something it has. like it's, it's all... It's kind of got away a little bit, hasn't it? Just quickly, is it, is it rollable? Right. Yeah, that's right. What should I take? That's you're going to roll it, aren't you? I want to see if you can roll it. Is it rollable is the question. Oh yeah, it's fine. So for a lot of people who use GoPros, which is a lot of people, you'll know one of the common things is the GoPro effect, which is absolutely flattens everything and makes everything look so much easier than it actually is. That's another advantage of the Insta. Because you can kind of zoom out, um, it just sort of gives it that feel of being steep and shows the steepness a lot more. So. We've got a steep trail here, similar to the one we just done, but a different line. And we're going to hopefully show you how it shows the steepness a lot more. If I could do it. <laughs> if you can do it, yeah, yeah you'll be fine. 
This is about our fifth time. Oh, I kind of popped a little bit there. Did you? Did well, you go I on and register any jumps? I didn't, but my body felt like I was about to. Yeah. This is about our fifth time coming it's up this the hill. One, isn't it? Yeah, and you but want then... to go far left. Let's like, try that. The far left. Am I going left now? Yeah, because we just did that one. Track stand. It was a track stand. I What's all these boots? Look at this chunkiness. Beautiful. Oh, I think, yeah, I think I remember this one. Oh, 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 oh. oh, 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 oh. <laughs> they bounced up and then slid on the roots. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, yeah, I remember this. You could do this, yeah. Can sneak off the edge. Very good. Hold on, where am I going now? Yeah, keep going, keep going. I'm trying to cut get in, back cut on in, the trail. Cut in, cut in. <laughs> <laughs> right, what happened there? got some nice twisty bits to it. Oh, this is this wiggle thing, isn't it? It is the wiggle thing. Let's see it. Keep it going, Dad, keep it going. This rollout is fine, honestly, trust. Rollout's fine, go for it, go for it, go for it. Yeah, he's done it. Look at that. Jeez. I didn't think he was gonna do that, but you were like, so. I knew you were capable of doing that, but I was worried you was gonna stop, because it was steep. But that isn't much different to that, so you could do it. That's well good. Oh, just trying to get my heart rate down. Yeah, that was a good one. I love that one. I love that one a lot. Again, 29 of wheels, heavier bike. You let it go and suddenly it just accelerates. So you've got these corners and you just like... But this is where I think it does make you a better rider on a normal bike. Cause yeah. I suddenly sped up and I was like, I've just got more speed now. I'm going to have to chuck the bike around. And, it, and you do. So then you just realise how on a normal bike you could chuck it around and still go that speed. Definitely. So that's the end of the video for today. Hopefully you've got a bit of a better understanding as to why a lot of people are using the 360 cameras. Like I said, it's just got some benefits. Being able to always get everything you want to get in shot, being able to reframe it for your different platforms. And, and then also just the steepness because everyone hates the GoPro effect when it makes the trails look so much more mellow than they actually are. So yeah, you can just get a bit of an idea and maybe even you look to buy one yourself. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think between the GoPro footage and more Insta 360 cameras. And as always, if you enjoyed it, make sure to like, subscribe, I'll see you next week for another ride.